So uh, we'll be studying. So let me uh, before we uh, proceed to some concrete things. Let me uh, say a few general words. So what is uh, what this course is going to be about? So as you may guess, the algebraic topology uh, studies the relation between topological structures and algebraic structures. So one of the uh, important type of questions which algebraic topology uh, studies is the following. So suppose we, uh, so in topology we are often interested in considering, so we're considering the, the main object in topology is a, uh, is a topological space. So we consider all possible topological spaces, maybe with some condition, some additional conditions are requiring some hold or some niceness condition, like being a hold or, or, or something similar. And uh, but usually in topology we also uh, want to study these spaces up to homeomorphisms. So you see, this logical space are homeomorphic; uh, they're essentially the same. And uh, so one of the uh, basic structures. In algebra, as you know, groups and similar in groups, uh, usually we want to uh, understand groups the same if they are isomorphic groups. So we want to, uh, if it is a collection of all groups, we want to portion it with respect to isomorphs. And one of the questions of algebraic topology is kind of constructing the maps. So given a topological space associate a group to it. Uh, and uh, we, we want this map to have some, some nice, usually have some nice properties. In particular, if, uh, if the topology, if two topological spaces are homeomorphic, we want the corresponding groups to be isomorphic. But uh, uh, actually, what, what usually happens is that we want to consider topological spaces not just up to homomorphism, up to more uh, kind of uh, a weaker, weaker equivalence condition. So what, what we usually, what usually algebraic topology deals is, is with uh, topological spaces considered up to what is called homotopy, which we will study in more, in more detail what is this actually, but this is a uh, what's important is one, one of the product, uh, properties is the weaker condition of homomorphism with respect to homomorphism. This means if the, if the uh, if two topological spaces are homomorphic, they are necessarily homotopic to each other, but not, uh, not necessarily the other way around. And uh, so, what actually happens is that uh, the maps which you construct here, so the groups which we associate on topological spaces actually depend only on homotopy type of topological space. So the same, they will be the same for topological spaces which differ, which differ by homotopy, uh, not, uh, uh, not just uh, homomorphisms. And the examples of such maps are the fundamental group space or homology or cohomology. And uh, so this uh, so so kind of the main two two main aims of this course is to study fundamental group and homology. So we want to define these notions and uh, learn their property and learn how to calculate them. So how to uh, calculate what is the resulting group for a given topological space.
so now I will start a more systematic exposition. Uh, so let me start with the following definition. So let x and y be topological spaces. continues so let me make the following remark the cursor on in our course unless uh, unless it's stated otherwise by default It's assumed to be continuous, but if, uh, uh, unless it's explicitly stated uh, otherwise. Uh, then, a homotopy between. F and prime is a map. Again, here I'm already not saying so. Is a map means it is continuous map. Is a map F from a, a product of a direct product of X and the unit interval to Y such that uh, so if I restrict such a, if I restrict f uh, to x times the uh, beginning of the one of the interval here x times zero uh, this is the same as a map f from x to y because uh, of course I, I can identify x times uh, just a point with x itself the f restricted to x times the end of interval is the same as the So this is a definition of homotopy between two functions and uh, another part of definition so this is kind of maybe just fixing terminology if such map f exists Then f and f prime are called homotopic. And the notation which we will use for homotopic maps is like this.
Okay, so let me give you an example. So let me take f and f prime uh, be any 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 pair of maps from a interval to uh, n-dimensional Euclidean space R prime. Then there is uh, always so there, there always exists a uh, homotopy f between f and prime. So how one construct this homotopy? So, uh, so if you can see there, if you can visualize my the space Rn like this. Uh, so let me, I can, for example, the image of, so f is a map from an interval to Rn, so its image is some sort of interval inside Rn, embedded into Rn, and for f prime we have some other image. So they have a the direction with respect to response to the variable here going from 0 to 1. And then the homotopy explicitly for any pair of f f prime, I can explicitly give an example of homotopy. So homotopy by definition should be a, a map from x, which is an interval here, times the interval, to y, which is for n. Uh, and we want to require, so the requirement is that uh, f restricts it uh, to the to zero here is the same as small f here. So that this means that more explicitly that f of uh, s comma zero, so s variable lives, which lives here and t which variables which lives here is the same as uh, f of s and f of s comma one is the same as of S. So this is uh, explicit, this condition is explicitly written like that. And uh, so example, so take the value of S of F to be the following. T times uh, prime times s plus y minus t times f of s. So here I use the fact I use Rn, the fact that Rn has the structure of uh, linear space as a vector space, so I can uh, there is a notion so I can multiply elements of the vector space by uh, real numbers and I also can sum them up. So you can uh, so you can explicitly see that this is of course a continuous map in two variables s and t. So this map of square to n. In more words, explicitly satisfies these conditions. If I plug in t equals zero and one, I reconstruct, I, I recover these conditions. So you can visualize this homotopy. So it will be useful for us later in more complicated examples. You can visualize this homotopy as follows. So this is a map from a square. So if I wrote, if I write uh, my variable t here like this and s like this, so the f, the domain of f is a, is, a, is a unit square in s and t plane, and uh, it's such that uh, here the value of f is the same as the value of small f, and here its value is the same as the value of f prime. And the whole the whole the whole square maps somehow I visualize it somehow like this to Rn. 
So if I, for example, if I, if I want to uh, understand the image of a line here, so for fix the, 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 the line, which I draw for fix S and, t, and I vary T from 0 to 1, the image of this line, this will be uh, also the line here because you see this function is linear in T, so it will be a line like this here, which connects uh, the image of F prime is, is, a, is a point in the image of F prime is a point in the image of F. Yeah, but it's an all possible family of those uh, uh, lines for fixed S and T goes and where T goes from zero to one. So those lines, the image of those lines will be lines like this. Is it clear? Yeah, we start uh, uh, learning also, we start quite slow with, with quite basic uh, notions, but uh, later on we will uh, speed up a bit and uh, we'll consider more technical things. But it's important that uh, those basic are very well understood first. So now we want to uh, uh, show a few useful useful properties of the notion of uh, homotopy, so particularly the following. So homotopy is an equivalence relation on the set of uh, continuous maps from X from topological space X to topological space Y. So usually uh, it's denoted as, uh, I'm not sure what uh, notation you are using in some other courses, but usually it's denoted as CX, Y, so all continuous maps. So basically you can use, uh, you can also endow this with some topology uh, but let's, uh, it's not really going to be important for us here. So, so it's not, uh, right now it's enough to consider it just as a set. And uh, okay, so what do we want to check? We want to check uh, uh, this, if, if some, if some uh, so we, we, we defined homotopy between marks with some sort of binary relation between them. So we want to check that it satisfies all axioms of equivalence relation. We want to check that it uh, satisfies reflexivity, symmetry, and transitivity. So first, uh, we need to check uh, the uh, reflexivity. So that uh, if I take some map f uh, from x to y, then it's uh, homotopic to itself. Well, this is more or less obvious, so we, uh, take, we just take uh, the homotopy. Uh, so f is a map from x to y. And uh, uh, so I remind you this homotopy. So we, you want to find some homotopy between f and itself. And f is uh, f to be a map from x to times an integral to y, so I just restrict it to zero, it's the same as f, and restrict it to one, and this, it's also the same as f. So you can just take f uh, such that for any point x and any uh, variable t from the integral is the same, just the same as x. It's just constant, uh, a constant in t. So this here it is this example. So, so second uh, axiom is that uh, symmetry. So if uh, suppose we know that f is homotopic to f prime with some known homotopy f, so we want to check that uh, f prime is homotopic to f 
with some uh, uh, homotopy G. And uh, so, so we know that uh, uh, so by definition, so how how we prove this? So by definition, uh, so there exists F such uh, so that. Uh, Such that uh, uh, yeah, f of uh, f restricted to zero is the same as f, and f restricted to one is the same as prime. And So here, to realize homotopy between f prime and f, we can take uh, g, which also will be a function from x, 0, 1, to y, uh, such that uh, g of x and t is the same as f of Then uh, it follows uh, that if I restrict g then to z zero, uh, zero here is uh, the same as uh, f restricted to one, which is the same as f prime. And similarly, if I restrict g to one, it's the same as f restricted to zero, which is the same as f. So indeed. Uh, the, the change of variable from t to 1 minus t is equivalent to the swap of uh, functions f and f prime in the definition of commodity. So this uh, proves that this is a, has a, a symmetry property. And the third uh, property which you want to check is the transitivity. So if, uh, uh, let's say, f is equivalent to, uh, g, to some, so is homotopic to g, let's say there's some uh, homotopy f, and g is uh, homotopic to, uh, let's say, h, with some homotopy big H, you want to check that uh, F is also homotopic to H with some uh, homotopy K. So we need to, given, uh, given homotopies F and H, we want to uh, find homotopy K. And uh, uh, we can take K uh, to be defined by the following formula. K of x and t uh, to be uh, the following <coughs> piecewise defined function. So it will be uh, the same as f of x to t when t is uh, from 0 to 1 half. It will be the same as G, so H of X to T minus 1, when T is uh, from 1 half to 1. Okay, let's check that this is indeed a so this choice indeed realizes homotopy between f and h, given that the f is a homotopy between f and g, and big H is a homotopy between g and h. Here.
again, this should be doing more of a subverse. So we know, uh, but let's check it anyway. So uh, first of all, uh, so k is uh, continuous. So one may ask a question: uh, Is it continuous if it's part, if it's given uh, by this price wise linear uh, as a price wise? Sorry, as a as a as a, as a kind of price wise defined function. Uh, but this is indeed continuous because f, if I take t to be one half, here I have uh, f of x one, and so I need to check uh, if this is the same as h when t is equal uh, when, when this is the same as if has the same value as this when t is equal to one half. which is we have zero here. And this is indeed the case because this is a, since f is a homotopy between f and g, this is the same as g of x, and h is a homotopy between g and h, g, g, small g and small h. So this is also g of x. So this is, uh, so there's no jump here. So f k is a, is a continuous mark. And uh, uh, also, if we take, uh, so we need to check that this is homology between small, small f and small h. So we need to check that if I plug here a zero, uh, what I get here is uh, f of uh, x zero, which is the same as f of x, which is indeed what we want to have. And if I plug t to be one, I get h of x. One, which is the same as H. Uh, all the K of X and T is indeed a commodity uh, between F. So this is the last list of this proof. So the last, uh, the last axiom of the equivalence. Uh, which, uh, questions? And uh, so you, I mean, we are not going to use this often, but uh, it's. Uh, it's useful to, to know this because this is uh, can appear in some other places in the literature. So the usually people use the following notation for in the algebraic topology. If one consider this square bracket between quadratic spaces x and y, this denotes a quotient of the space of all continuous maps. Well, here you can see it just as a set as a set quotient, set theoretic quotient with respect to this uh, equivalence equation. So this is a called a uh, uh, set. So here we are talking about uh, uh, th th those guys as the sets uh, without conducting them with this topology. Set of uh, commodity classes Maps of continuous maps from X to Y. Because since we proved that this is a equivalence relation, we can see the equivalent, equivalent the corresponding equivalence classes.
Another important property of uh, homotopy is the following. So it can be, in words, it can be uh, given like this. Composition of uh, topic maps What, uh, what exactly this means is the following. So let uh, uh, f and f prime be a pair of maps from x to y, and g and g prime be a pair of maps uh, from uh, uh, y to some third topological space z. And uh, uh, so in the, in the condition of the proposition, we also want uh, that uh, uh, f is homotopic to f prime and g is homotopic to g prime. Uh, and then the composition of f is g should be homotopic to uh, composition is of uh, sorry. Well, okay, I have to use this. Uh, yeah, I'm using the convention, so let me. So I'm gonna. So I uh, miss this a lot, but uh, so I create like this. So I'm writing. Uh, so I'm, I will using uh, the convention where the composition is uh, from right. using the, those homotopies, explicitly construct homotopy here. So let's say f and f prime, uh, so there is some homotopy f, big F, between f and f prime, and some homotopy g, big G between g and g prime. So, uh, so what we need Need a homotopy H. We will see. Uh, so H should be a homotopy between those compositions. It will be a map from X times an interval to Z such that uh, if I restrict. H to x times zero will be the same as G composed with F and uh, I restrict it to x times one, it's the same as composition of F prime and G prime. Present such H using F and G here. So X is an argument which is in big X here, and T, as usual, is an argument, is a, uh, argument in the uh, 
uh, unity develop. So we just take this to be the following composition. This is uh, well defined, so this is valued. So a, the argument of H is valued in X. And then the argument, sorry, the, the, the value of, uh, of big F, of capital F, is, in, uh, is the same as in the uh, uh, codomain of small f, which is. Uh, y and this whole thing is y and it's of course a, it's a continuous function because there's a composition of continuous functions and uh, uh, it's easy to see that h of x of 0 is the same as g of f x of 0 0 which is, uh, so f, the gap is a homotopy from f to f prime, so this is a, and, uh, and uh, g, when well, I say g, uh, the second argument of g to zero, we have the same small g. Similarly, if I take it at one, I get uh, g prime of f prime. And then from the h is indeed So you can understand, uh, if, uh, well, I mean, it's uh, for some abstract space, logical space uh, x, y, and z, it's a bit hard to, 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 to uh, say precisely, but you can repeat the principle. I mean, after you can visualize the commodity, so you can extend these maps to a map from uh, interval times x, so you can understand f here as some sort of uh, way to deform f to a prime. Similarly, big G is a way to deform G to G prime, but uh, you can also compose F and G and go directly from X to Z, and you also can compose F prime and G prime. Of course, you can, uh, and the statement is just you can deform, uh, there, is a def there is at least a deformation of the compositions by just using, by simultaneously using those two different. So you can understand the, uh, the commodity is a one parameter, one parameter family of maps parameterized by this uh, variable t, uh, which so that uh, at the at the at the nearest family you have f and the end of that family you have all, all possible functions to uh, the quite different functions.
is another definition. So, so let f to be a map from x to y. So it's called homotopy equivalence. If there exists a continuous map G from Y to X, say that uh, if I take the position of G with F, this will be uh, the map from Y to Y. And it's so required to be homotopic to identity map on Y. And if I take the composition the other way around, it should be homotopic to identity map on X. So if, this, if such uh, F is kind of continuation uh, of the Definition, uh, if such f exists, so this is the definition of homotopy equivalence. And now the second part is that if such f exists, x and y are said to be homotopically equivalent. Or one can also say or of the same commodity type. Notation. We're going to use is uh, for topological space which are homotopy equivalent is uh, again the same notation for homotopy. So, this that, that, that before we had a, a homotopy between binary relation between uh, homotopy was a binary relation between functions between the logical space, and now we, we can see that some binary relation uh, between. Uh, Topological spaces. So of course we here we call we call we call some sort of uh, equivalence, but we actually have to again we have to check that this is indeed we want to check that this is indeed uh, uh, an equivalence relation. We want to check that this is an equivalence relation in order to talk about uh, uh, in order to justify this terminology. Flexivity, uh, symmetry, and transitivity. Uh, so, first, is it true that the volume of space is homotopic to equivalent to itself? So, of course, it is. So, we just take uh, uh, in definition here, take F to be 
just identity itself, and we show that the identity is homotopic to identity. And uh, G also to take to the identity on X. So we take, in the definition, we take this uh, pair of functions which should exist to be the form. Second is the symmetry to show that if x is uh, homotopic to y as a definition as defined here so we want to show that we can swap them around and, uh, so this is also not always obvious so if f if there exists x to y uh, which is a homotopic equivalence uh, between x and y then from the definition there exists g Uh, this condition on f and g, uh, the, the symmetric, so I can swap x and y uh, and simultaneously swap f and g. Finally, we have to check uh, transitivity. So x is, uh, suppose f, x is uh, homotopic equivalent to y, and y is homotopic equivalent to z. We want to check that uh, it follows that x is homotopic equivalent to z. OK, so. Uh, so by definition, so let's, uh, first, uh, what, what does it mean that x is homotopically equivalent to y? So by definition, there exists a pair of functions, f and g, uh, such that f, this composition is uh, homotopic to identity on x, and this uh, the other way around is homotopic to identity on y. And similarly here, between y and z, there also is a pair of functions, uh, let's say h and k, such that uh, this composition is homotopic to identity on y, sorry. Let's see on z, I work around. It says uh, <coughs> z, and this is uh, identity on y. And uh, so we want to uh, so it's enough, uh, it will be enough. Uh, so we need to present uh, a homotopy equivalence map between x and, and z. So there is a natural candidate for this, which is the composition of f and h. Right? This will be a certain map between x and z. Is a homotopy equivalence uh, 
Okay, we, so the symmetric candidate for homotopy equivalence in indeed we want to see that we will see that this indeed homotopy equivalence between x and z. Uh, So let me uh, let me make the following uh, remark. In the sense that if I take a, see, the literal inverse will be so that the composition of G and F in both different ways is just equals to infinity. But here we only have uh, equality up to homotopy, and this is what is called homotopy inverse. So here, uh, so we want so to check that this is a homotopy, we want to we want to find another function from Z to X, so that the compositions of that other function with this one. Uh, will be homotopic to identities. And here we also have a natural candidate for this uh, homotopy inverse function. So this will be a composition of K and G. And this will be a map of Z to X. So we need to check that this is indeed homotopy inverse. So first uh, we need to check that this, uh, we need to consider composition, let's consider composition of this with this. So meaning that uh, we do it like this. G stay. So of course we can uh, we can do compositions of functions in uh, whatever order we want. So you can write it like this instead. And so now we use the properties of the uh, homotopy between functions which we had before. So first uh, we know that this is homotopic to uh, by, by is this homotopic to identity on uh, x and. Uh, so, and we also know that the, uh, the composition of homotopic functions is homotopic. So, we, this is just homotopic. Mm -hmm. This is homotopic to H on X. This becomes just homotopic to H. Uh, the composition of H and K. And this we know that this is homotopic to uh, identity on Z. Good. And we also want to check, so we check that this the composition in this order gives me identity on Z, and we want to consider another, but we also need to consider composition in a different direction. And here we do the same, so this is just the same as G, so we can uh, shuffle our compositions in the following way first, and then we use the fact that this is, so we use first the fact that this is homotopic to uh, identity on y and then we also use the properties of the uh, composition of homotopic maps are homotopic and then we use that this is homotopic too 
So in Git, we showed that this is a uh, this is a homotopy curve because there exists another map in a different direction, so that the compositions are homotopic to any Yeah, the one year I always uh, mix up um, different uh, conventions. <laughs> uh, left, uh, left, uh, left, uh, raising from left to right. And right. Okay, so we want to consider some examples of uh, uh, homotopy equivalence, hom homotopy equivalences, and uh, but before doing, I mean, it will be useful to introduce. Uh, before doing that, it will be useful to introduce another notion first. It will be kind of a technique, a particular example of maps, which uh, will provide us with examples of homotopy equivalence, and uh, quite quite natural and useful motion by itself. So there will be two parts of the definition. First, the first part is the form. So I retract of a topological space x onto its uh, subspace e. is a continuous map R from X A such that if I restrict this map to the subspace of X, A is the same as identity. The second, uh, kind of, um, there is a more strong, strong version of this. Is called deformation of the tract. So 
a differential. That is actually not a map, not quite a map like this, but is a, a is a homotopy. Between uh, an identity map on X and a composition, the following composition uh, R. by f prime, which is by definition a composition of uh, R times I A, where I A is an inclusion map from A to X. So such composition, so since R, so R for us is a map from X to A, and I A is a map from A to X. So this is the composition, the map is also mapped x to x, and where r is a retract. A bit later, we show that the homotopy, the deformation retract is actually. Uh, so, it, if, if, if there is a situation where you have a deformation retract, then the retract R, which enters here, so the retract R is a map. So, let me, uh, to make it more clear, let me uh, draw the following diagram. So, there is a map from. So, R is a map from X to A, and then there is inclusion by A from. A to X, and we can also go directly to the composition is R prime. So as we show a bit later, the, is, is in the uh, so if R is such that they, it's uh, so if exists a deformation retract between X uh, yeah, in the, in the, what I want to say is in the situation when there exists a deformation retract this retract R, which under some definition, is a homotopy equivalence. So we will really show this a bit later. But let me just give you a definition. Of, uh, so let me just give you some examples of, of a retract and a deformation retract. Let's see the example one. So let me take some topological space and a point in it, point x0 in topological space x. And just so this is a very simple example for the trout. So I take just a map from R uh, to a subspace. This will be my A, and then definition subspace, which consists of a single point x zero. And it is an example of it's a, this is an example of a retract. Because of course, it's a continuous map, well, just a constant map. Everything maps, maps to a single point. And uh, if I restrict it to a uh, to point here, to point x0 here, it's the same. Uh, I think it's value on x0, it's the same to x0. Let's see this value is positive. OK. So let me make the following remark. So one can, one can wonder, if this retract, if there exists a deformation retract in this case, if there exists a homotopy between this R and the identity on X.
So maybe uh, so to make it more clear, so we talk about here, so we talk, here we talk about deformation of a tract. So it's when we when we just go across the phenomenon. So here we talk about when we say uh, in in sentence retract of x onto a. So this, so this is also so in this uh, part of the issue we, we say that this is a deformation of a tract also of uh, x onto a. Yeah, so one can wonder if, this, uh, if there exists uh, a deformation of a tract from X onto a subspace continuum of, of, of a single point. So in general it might be, but uh, there, is, there is a certain case, uh, there is some particular class of uh, cases, cases where it's, not, it's explicitly non-possible. So in particular, one can make the following statement. If X is not pass connected. There is no deformation retract. Space considered of single point for any whatever point we would take on X. So how can we how can we uh, show this? So from this statement, it's, uh, it's kind of um, it's suggested that if 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 it's uh, if there is a deformation retract, then it, then one can, should be able to show that it's actually path connected. There's a small short proof. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me present you a small, small, small proof of this statement in the, in the remark. So assume, uh, assume uh, since there is a deformation return. then by definition there exists function f which provides me uh, a homotopy and as a definition so it's function f from uh, x so it's a, it was a homotopy uh, between functions from x to itself the map from x times an interval to x such that uh, uh, so f so we, we require that f when restricted to, to zero in the interval this should be an identity on x so f of, this means explicitly that f of x zero is the same as x and uh, when restricted to one here, it should be the same as. Uh, Sorry. Yes. So uh, in general, it should be the same as uh, uh, my retract. It should be the same as my retract R. So for any which uh, for any x x maps to x zero. And uh, but then it means that uh, for the f of x uh, t, uh, so if I fix if the other arm, if I fix x here and uh, y my variable and keep this argument to be uh, uh, empty, uh, so this can be as a, as a mark from zero one to x. And this is a, is a this is a pass from uh, x to 
x0 for any x. So I hope you remember the definition of uh, fast connectedness. So this was exactly, uh, uh, so the fast, the, the, the fast connectedness is existent of this map such that uh, at zero uh, we have uh, some point flex and uh, so for in that for any two points there exists a pass which connects uh, them in this way. So this means that X is pass connected. So we are out of contradiction. Where uh, classic examples where deformational effects kind of exist, but one can still just consider any product. So now, uh, so let's consider an example where there is actually a deformational effect and one can explicitly consider it. is equal to zero, this uh, is just x, so this is a restricted on zero, it's an identity map on the disk, but when t is equal to one, uh, so this is one issue, and here I just have a zero. So when restricted to one, all points x sum up to x zero.
So you can uh, kind of visualize this deformation of the tract as follows. So all, uh, if, if you, you can write explicit, you can uh, visualize the trajectories of uh, So this is a trajectories of uh, f of uh, x t for fixed x and t goes from zero to n. I mean, I, I take in this function, I, I fix uh, x in y t and, and see what, how the uh, how the value of this function changes. So if I start at some point x, it will uh, when I, when, I, when t goes from zero to one, it will move like this towards the linear. You can understand this is a continuous deformation of a disk to a single point. Let's say where t from zero. This can be in this example is a generalizable for any ball in Rn and indeed for any convex space in Rn. Con convex subset. Or more generally, this kind of star, star shaped uh, subset. So let me give you a little bit less non trivial example. So let x be an anomalous in a R2. So it's a, looks something like this. One can give an example in this case, and we do example different of uh, deformation tract of x on a again by just presenting an explicit form. It should be a map from x times an interval to x itself. points here will uh, go into one point. Again, I treat x here as an element of R2 as a vector space. There is no deformation with to a point. 
In this case, is there, there is no, but it's uh, so far we are not we don't have techniques to prove it. But uh, late, a bit late. It's uh, indeed so visually, you kind of. I mean, intuitively, you can see there is no way to deform it to a point. But how do you actually prove this? And for this kind of t for easy to prove this, it's uh, easy. It's helpful to develop technical fundamental group. So one, if you if you if you know what is the fundamental group, you uh, I mean this is what you know. You, you can already if this is uh, will be obvious uh, that this is uh, this will already already tell you that there is no deformation attract. But uh, directly, it's hard. It's very hard to to prove it. And uh, uh, okay, so let's uh, let me check that this is indeed. Uh, so, it's, it's, so indeed, we need to check that if uh, t is equal zero here, so this is uh, this should be the same as the identity uh, on x, and this is indeed uh, the case, and when x when t is one here. Uh, this is uh, equal to x divided by norm of x, and uh, so this will be our function r. Uh, so, so we we know that this is a uh, this can be understood as an element of a, right? Because this is uh, obviously this is an element of norm one. The element of a is this can be understood as the value of my um, function r, and r is uh, well to be pretty more precise is the value of function r prime, where r prime is a function of from x to x, which is a composition of uh, of r, which is most to a and inclusion. But if, if I stick to the inverse, if, uh, it, it just uh, depends on how we understand A is an independent logical space or a subspace. R. So you're saying, in, in a sense, R prime not have the same functions. Okay, and uh, so R R R, uh, R is the deformation. R is a retract. And you can visualize again, you can visualize this deformation retract by drawing the trajectories. Uh, by the values, how, how the values, uh, so if, if I fix in this function, if I fix x, and see the dependence on tau. The points will move like this. So in a continuous way. Announce the next proposition, and uh, I will stop here. With, with our, the proof will be in the next uh, So, proposition: if there is a deformation retract, Deformation retards, we provide examples of uh, homotopic equivalence. In particular, here, so once we prove the theorem, we learn that the, so for example, the disk is homotopic, homotopic equivalent to a point, and the uh, analog is homotopic equivalent to a circle. 
But we indeed know that, for example, they are not, uh, in those examples, uh, the disk is not homomorphic, for example, not homomorphic to a point, and the analysis is not homomorphic uh, to a circle. So indeed, this is a, uh, a weaker uh, So many many questions of uh, uh, algebraic topology is the concern studying uh, topological spaces up to this uh, uh, more kind of uh, drastic deformations, but they are still convinced so there's some kind of continuous deformations which do not change do not change topology in a certain sense, some aspects of topology. Okay, let me stop here.